Dion writes, hey guys, huge fan of the show. I'm wondering if you've heard the rumor about the two trailers coming out for Batman v Superman this month. One being a one minute trailer for Superman, which is supposed to air during the Supergirl series premiere. And then a one minute trailer for Batman supposedly airing during the show Gotham the same night, being the 26th of October. Also, there is a rumor of another full length trailer being released sometime in November. I've seen this in multiple articles now. Your thoughts? Um, well, first of all, let's address that, that last part. You say I, I've read it in multiple articles. Um, the, there's, it's important to understand that there's a difference between multiple sources reporting something versus multiple articles that are all based on the same one source that it came from. For example, um, there was a, a time when it was basically confirmed that Johnny Depp was going to be Doctor Strange. And I remember I got in a discussion with somebody who said, it's, it has to be right because I read it on like eight different sites. Well, yeah, you read it on eight different sites, but when you look at each one of those sites, they all say they got it from the same place and it all came from one source. And obviously it didn't end up being true. That's different than if when The Hollywood Reporter and Variety and Coming Soon and Collider all have their own independent sources and they all say, yeah, this is happening. So that's a little bit different. <clears throat> this is one of those situations where the report of a one minute trailer with Gotham and a one minute trailer with Supergirl Yes, it's written on a bunch of different sites, but this is one of those situations where all came from one source. That does not mean it's not true, though. So let's entertain this for a second. For those of you who haven't heard about it, there's word going around that there's going to be a special one-minute TV trailer for Batman versus Superman from Superman's perspective that will air with the first episode of the new CBS show Supergirl, which, by the way, Collider Video is doing a recap show for Supergirl. Mm -hmm. Make sure you tune in for that. And then, a few days later, with Gotham, a special one-minute Batman vs. Superman trailer that focuses on Batman will be shown. Now, if this is true or not, who knows? That is the report that's going out there right now. If it's true, it's brilliant. That is a brilliant thing to do. I mean, you, you got Supergirl, the, the, the hype of a brand new show. Put your Batman v Superman thing with that. Make it Superman-centric. Gotham, make it Batman-centric. This is pushing it to your audience. I think it would be a really great move. It feels early still. Remember, we are still, what, five, six? Six months, months away. away from Batman. Ah, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's easy for us to start feeling like, oh, must be close. It's not close. So it, it does feel a little bit early. But if they do it, I, even though I feel it's too early, I still think it would be a good move because it just fits so well. Mark, what do you think? Uh, I love this idea. Mm. And Schnepp and I actually talked about it when I was a guest on his show, Heroes, a few weeks ago, that this rumor just broke. And we were like, is this going to happen? And I said, well, it, it, it got one more viewer of Supergirl and Gotham for the weeks that yeah, it's going to happen right, because yeah. everybody's going to want to tune in and see those trailers. I don't know how Nielsen tracks things, if they can see if people watched in the first two minutes or just tuned in for the last two minutes just to catch the trailer. But I would watch anything for an hour if I could see those two trailers. It does feel early, but you have to remember, too, that Gotham has been around for a little bit. Supergirl is premiering. So there's no guarantee that you're going to have two different shows to premiere two different trailers from those points of view in January or wherever you might want to do that, especially if they're going to kick off another trailer that's around November, December, somewhere around there. It makes sense to do this. It's a little early, but I'm going to be optimistic. The only reason I don't think it's going to happen is because there's been so many rumors swirling around Batman v Superman yeah. and the release and the trailers. And you remember when last year we were talking about how it was split into two movies? Right. Enter like, the night. Yeah. Enter like, the what? night. Dawn of yeah. Justice and Morning of Liberty or whatever the other movie was called. <laughs> and none of that was true, but that was also reported by multiple right. sources. So I can't buy this news yet. Wouldn't you think that we would have had some confirmation by now? Yeah, because well, um, the premieres are next week. The Gotham yeah. premieres next week, but I think they're talking about having that air on the Gotham the week that Supergirl right. premieres, which is right. the 26th. So right. we might be two weeks out, but it I seems think about, like we know about it. I think we are two weeks out. I think with television, it's a little bit different. I think you don't put out the big buzz now for something that's two weeks away with television. I think you wait till it's like five days away. No, I think it's, we wait till you're one week out and then you release that if it's going to happen. But you bring up a great point. Here's the thing, premiering a new trailer with a movie now is irrelevant because every the, all the trailers go online before they play in the theater in front of a movie. We've talked about this before. It, I really don't think it makes a difference to anybody's box office anymore. If you we're going to show the trailer of this with this movie because we all know it's going to be online 24, 48, 72 hours. But it was earlier. cool to see the Star Wars Force <clears throat> Awakens in the theater. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Was. But with TV, it's different. 
they don't drop those TV spots early online. Mm. They wait until that show airs, except for in the case of Age of Ultron. We remember it was going to play its new trailer with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and got leaked online early. Right. But that was because it got leaked. I So, yeah, I think if you want to drive people to check out Supergirl, you tell them we're going to play a, a brand new Superman spot for Batman versus Superman on. I think you're right. That'll and you tell back. everybody who's commentating on CBS football games or any other CBS yeah. programming, like, hey, check out Supergirl's premiere this week because we're going to have this new trailer. What we can say for sure is that the one-minute Batman and the one-minute Superman trailer both got standing ovations from the Warner Brothers executives that saw it <laughs> at their studios yeah. nine months well, ago. Yeah, you know who would be a great running ago. back for the <laughs> Steelers? This yeah. Clark Kent kid. Uh, <laughs> anyway, what do you think, uh, Schnapp? I so I, you know, as a rumor, I certainly hope it's true. We talked about it. It's like I want it to be true. It sounds cool. It sounds like a great marketing idea. And even if somebody came up with it, the people at Warner Bros. Were like that's a good idea. We should do it, even if they weren't planning on doing it, because it makes sense. It's going to draw people to see Gotham and Supergirl. I would put it in the middle of the programming, not at the beginning <laughs> or end, so you forced to watch the episode. I don't know when it's well, going to be I'd on. Be a, I'd be a jackass and put it right at the uh, end. Yeah, I would put it right at the <laughs> oh, end. Oh, absolutely. But Make them it. watch the show. Tease it through oh, the whole thing. Maybe the the yeah. new Batman vs Superman commercials coming up yeah. next micro teaser Maybe. for the one you're going to see in three more commercial breaks from now why yeah i love that it's also from their different perspectives so it could play like a political ad like superman claims he yeah. roots for earth but does he really They'll do it like the mr show like where yeah. everything turns negative did superman really yeah. his face turns black Batman and white yeah. claims he cares about gotham but where did his money come from yeah. like it gets all black and be white fantastic. but they will have to be careful to make sure that they do not confuse because the, this Supergirl show is in no way connected to the movie universe, like, at all. So they'll have right. to make sure that they don't confuse their audience at the same right. time. Maybe I break that one-minute trailer up into a bunch of, into four 15-second spots and, <laughs> and pepper it throughout the show to make sure they tune in and don't go away. Right. It's a, it would be a great marketing. And then, of course, we get the full trailer in November, and I'm pretty sure that's what we're... Have they locked that down yet? No. Is that Nothing is confirmed. You would think you would get one before the end of the year, so... So all we really know is we'll get to see the movie in, like, five, six months. That's yeah. all we really Unless know. Unless they push it back <laughs> again. <laughs> DC announces. Uh, we, th we think this is a Christmas time movie. Right. We're going to push it in December 2018. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 